negative. Oo, negative. O, oh, diba? January 9. Thank you, Lord. So, hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. And I thought I'd give you an update on my current health situation. Since the last episode I gave to you is all about how my family and me got tested and the results came out that we are all COVID positive. So, I hope this particular episode will shed some light on the symptoms that you might feel and the road to recovery as well that's the most important thing i want to share with you guys and how to move forward from you know testing positive and uh, becoming fully recovered from getting covid so today is the 17th of january and i thank everyone who sent us food uh, well wishes who gave prayers for me and my family because i think that really helped us a lot uh, on our way to recovery and just you know um having that in your mind that a lot of people are thinking about uh, your welfare uh, is such a great boost of confidence not just for me but for everyone here in in the household so just to give you a quick rundown on how it all happened to us uh, January 2, we were still on vacation for New Year's and we were in, in Boracay. And while we were on the island, we were fine. We were good uh, for the first few days. We didn't feel anything. And we also got tested prior to leaving, even if it wasn't a requirement uh, for traveling to Boracay anymore around that time. Because I had work uh, two days before leaving. So it was a requirement uh, for entering the facility where i will tape my my engagement so i made it a point to since ev everyone is going to be in the same household naman during that time na lahat na kami magpa-test na para before we leave we are assured that we are not carrying anything nasty with us during the trip so that we can you know fully maximize the the vacation since minsan minsan lang kami Magkakasama. It's very rare that we are all together since we're all so busy with our personal things. So long story short, uh, the 30th when we left for Manila, we were good. 31st, the 1st, and then on the 2nd, uh, specifically as in the evening, uh, and ever since then, most especially at night, we feel the symptoms coming on. Uh, initially was very mild and you can just brush it off because you would think that oh it's because of the weather since it's it's pretty cold and windy in Boracay around that time up until today no parang mapapansin nyo nasa in the morning around 5 30 when I check the temperature it's 22 degrees sometimes even lower in in Manila diba so malamig siya talaga so akala namin it was just a simple bout of flu na uh, we were having some throat irritation, uh, we have a slight temperature. So the first people who felt it was me and my brother. So actually, mas nauna ako, so I called it uh, parang there's something wrong at around 7.38 in the evening. Niyaya ko na sila, let's go home, I wanna rest early. So I was in bed at around 9, 9.30, January 2. January 3, when I woke up, it's like there's a block in my throat Now it was very hard for me to swallow. I lost my voice. So I I always bring, you know, beverage uh, packets in my bag. For some reason, I'm a tita like that. May dala, -dala akong tea, mga pang -soothe ng throat. Kasi I, I easily get uh, throat irritations, lalo na if the weather doesn't agree with me. So I was sucking on a lozenge and I was drinking my tea and it felt better for a while but the symptoms weren't going away so I decided on the third since uuwi naman na kami on the fourth not to go out anymore I had breakfast away from people and pretty much just stayed in uh, the vicinity of the resort I didn't go far from where we were billeted I just stayed there and rested the day prior to the flight I already booked our antigen test uh, on the day of our arrival on the 4th and as soon as we got the results, we were elated by the fact that we were negative. So uh, I read from all the literature that's been going around about 
COVID that it is uh, parang premature celebration if you do test on negative on antigen tests. So I was really cautious and I said to my brother, since he doesn't live here in our house, na he should isolate since he's also feeling symptoms around the third and the fourth and all of us here in the house to isolate uh, as soon as we get our RT-PCR. So, hindi ako nakampante dahil negative kami sa antigen. I immediately scheduled an RT-PCR on the 6th of January and received the results on the 8th, which confirmed that we are positive. I counted the 6th as day 1 of our isolation because that's the day that we got tested through RT-PCR. So, yesterday was the end of our 10 days. Uh, in quarantine but since all of us experienced symptoms at different times we decided to complete the 14 days of the last person that felt the symptoms which was Joseph uh, JP started feeling symptoms we were already here at around the 7th or the 6th uh, of January so if we're counting 10 days from when he felt off uh, today is his last day in quarantine. So we'll complete the entire 14 days for everybody so that we are confident to go out and we will not bring anything uh, nasty in the outside world with us. So let's talk about recovery. During the 10 days that we were here at home, it's very important for anyone who tested positive to immediately isolate and inform everybody that you came in close contact with that you are feeling symptoms and that they should get tested as well. And by doing so, you are preventing the, the spread of the virus and you're also sending out your concern to these people that you interacted with during the onset of the symptoms. You are not just handling the disease as an individual, you're actually concerned about the community in general. Nobody wants this on themselves, you know, it's not anyone's fault and if you did get into contact with, with the virus and you did everything you can, uh, the best possible protection that you can give yourself and your family, then you are not to blame. So please stop. Uh, you know, having that self-pity or, or, you know, putting the pressure on you that I should have done this, done that, all of that. Uh, it happened, so you might as well face the music and do whatever you can to remain healthy and protect yourself and everyone around you. It's important to note na when you do list down your medications that you have a logbook of everything that you are taking so that you don't double dose or accidentally take... Uh, things that you don't need. I am informing everybody that most cough medications and medications that will address your, your flu uh, will have paracetamol. So if you're already taking paracetamol separately and you're taking another medication that contains paracetamol, there's a big chance of double dosing or even you know taking the prescribed dosage of paracetamol. So please be careful and read the label. So luckily we have parang isang banig ba ng Biogesic here at ha at our home. We still have the flam for our throat. Uh, we still had soul milk. So apologies, this is not uh, sponsored in any way by any pharmaceutical company. But those are the things that we had here at home. Uh, during that time, we were also taking a lot of uh, supplements. I was taking uh, a concoction of a lot of things, mostly uh, herbal medication. And I had a Lagundi plant here in my garden, so I was drinking Lagundi tea. I was also taking Ningxia Red from Young Living. I was diffusing citrus oils and oils that would help me with the congestion that I was feeling. I was also drinking multivitamins with zinc, that's very important. And of course, the cough medication and paracetamol when I had fever. We are all different, our bodies are not made the same. The fever only lasted for two to three days. Probably on day three, I was just feeling parang sinat na lang, hindi na mabigat yung, yung lagnat. But the cough was still very, very much evident. And my lace was there. Para bang tamad na tamad ako, hinang hina ako, patang pata yung katawan ko. Parang binugbog, ganun yung pakiramdam ko. And since this is my second bout with COVID, I'm not a stranger to the symptoms anymore. But this time around, I noticed that I recovered much quickly than the first one. Mainly because I was fully vaccinated. And I think that had a lot to do with it. And of course, since 
the awareness is there already. Uh, hindi na ako as fearful as before. I know how to deal with it and handle it. I'm just worried about my son and Joseph and the rest of the family that got infected during the trip. So we were monitoring each other very closely. Around day five and six, I, I started uh, you know feeling a little comfort, but I continued with my cough medication and stopped the paracetamol because I didn't have any fever anymore. I was taking my supplements and hydrating myself uh, as much as I can. So I inum ng lemon water, water, um, yan. and the recommendation of my uh, pulmonologist is that uh, after everything has been resolved, I should, you know, order up, he would order up some tests for us so that we can confirm if the, the virus hasn't left any damage in our bodies because some people have reported that they, they felt, they never felt quite the same after recovering from, from COVID. Um, just a quick background on how it really feels. Uh, guys, this is not just your regular parang trangkaso na Pag gumaling ka, okay ka na. No, hindi siya ganun. Sometimes, there are days that you feel super better. La parang, yes, I can exercise now. I can move around and stuff like that. Then, the next day, you will feel super tired, super sleepy, groggy, brain fog. Tapos, bigla na lang sasakit yung ulo mo. I, I really can't explain it. There are good days between that 10-day period na okay, may days na hindi okay. So, please, please. Do monitor yourself. Don't beat yourself up and just take care of your body because you know your body more than anyone. Maraming maraming salamat. It's so nice to see you again, guys. I physically talaga hindi tayo magkasama or hindi ko talaga kayo nakikita. But just to have you here as company, watching my channel and appreciating my content, um, I do hope I would give you more cheerful content in the next few days since we're doing okay na and we're great. Uh, thank you, thank you for your support, your prayers, and your love. And until next time, stay strong, stay healthy, keep the faith. Bye!